Hi YouTube friends, it's Ashley and I'm back this week with a new video for Hip Kit Club using the May kits. And before I get started, I just wanted to thank everybody for your comments last week um, and for enduring the music during my video since I was sick. I'm feeling a little better this week. So I'm here to give you a little tutorial in Silhouette Studio to show you what I did with some of our May cut files. So first I'm opening the um, one that Kim Watson designed. And so this is just the JPEG and I'm going to trace it. So I go to object and trace and then select trace area. And I want to trace this whole image and I'm just leaving out the little watermark there at the bottom so I don't get that in with my cut. And once it's highlighted, I go back and uncheck the high pass filter box and then under apply trace method, I click trace. And then I can just delete the original JPEG because I won't need that. So now I'm also going to open up one of the cut files that I have for this month. Um, it's just a miscellaneous kind of designs. And I want to use that word happy and weld it to Kim's cut file. So I'm going to do that same process and just do the select trace area just for the word happy. Uncheck the high pass filter box and then trace. And I can get rid of that. And I'm just going to copy this and move it back to my other page with Kim's cut file. So now what I want to do is I want to put that word right there in the scalloped frame at the top. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to release the compound path because I want that to overlap and weld together so the word is touching. And since I released it, I need to go back and make a compound path out of the two separate parts so that it will weld together correctly. So I'm just highlighting over those two parts, going to object, and then clicking make compound path. Now I'm going to overlap those two little parts together and I'm going to go over to the modify window and open that up and that will give me my weld choice so it's right there at the top and I click it and so now that's all one piece and I'm going to do that same process inside the frame so I move it over just to get it sized um, I needed to size it down just a little bit and I just use my arrow keys to shift that into place where I want to get it and once I have it in place, I highlight over that whole image. Just make sure you have everything picked up and go back over to the modify window and hit weld again. And so now you can see I have that welded and so I have my title for my layout, Happy Memories. So I wanted to put those two together and there you can see it without the grid marks and how cute that is. So now I've cut it and these are two papers designed by Kim. These are some of the exclusive papers for May. Um, I think I find myself working with a lot of the exclusives <laughs> more than the manufacturer products these days just because it's all so cute. But I like the way everything mixes together. Um, so I cut this from one of Kim's papers that had the orange, pink, and black and white polka dots, which I thought was really cute. And then I just used that subtle yellow pattern for the background. And I thought it would be fun to, um, you can see I did my photo there in the larger frame at the bottom. And then I wanted to use that little quote on one of the Project Life cards from the Project Life kit. And I liked that it was kind of a tight fit. Like I liked that look of the letters just budding right up against the frame. So I framed that and then just cut away the excess. And now I'm going to go ahead and place this on the background paper. And I do go and stitch around all of those frames. I wanted some texture. Um, so I do take it off camera and it may be hard to see here, but you can probably see it on the finished layout at the end. But I stitched around each of those frames just to add a little bit of texture and to help keep it on the layout. So these are some Bella Boulevard chipboard pieces. Um, they're in the May embellishment kit. And these are fun because you can add color or you can leave them as is. I just grabbed one of my gelatos that I have on hand. Um, we have the uh, color add-on kits each month that have usually mist or gelatos or like watercolor pencils, fun things. Um, so those kind of things would be great to use with these. Um, I'm just like directly coloring right over each letter and then using my fingers to smooth that color around. And I didn't want it to be a wet medium. I wanted the look of the gelatos and it actually... Once I finished it, gave it kind of a watercolor effect on the letters. It's kind of hard to see just because it's so small here, but um, maybe in the close-ups you can see it a little bit better. Um, but I really liked that technique. And like I said, you could leave it white if you wanted to. And um, I've worked with these before, and I have found um, they do have the adhesive backing on them, but they are really easy to come off of your page. So I decided um, to kind of get them in place, take that adhesive backing off, just to hold them where I wanted them. And then I added some liquid adhesive behind there because I have done 
um, pages with the Bella products before and the chipboard kind of just slides off. So <laughs> you might want to secure those with a little bit of extra adhesive when you add those to your layout. So now I have another one of the Project Life cards. Um, I don't do a lot of journaling on my layouts or pocket pages. So a lot of times I like to use um, the cards from the Project Life kit for um, layering or just as a embellishment on the layout. Sometimes I use it as a place to hold my title. But I just wanted to cut that little snapshot part out and use it there over the photo. So now I'm getting to my favorite part, embellishing. This is usually my process, um, you can tell, for doing a layout. I kind of start with whatever my main thing is going to be, usually a cut file, um, and get my photo in place, um, usually my title, and then I get to the embellishing and adding all the last things that I want to put on here. Um, this is the ephemera pack that is also an exclusive for May, and it comes in the main kit, and there are so many pieces. Um, instead of taking the whole bag and dumping it out right there, I just kind of went through off camera and grabbed some of the things that I thought I wanted to use on the layout. I really like the flowers. Um, they went perfectly and I was able to complete, or I'm sorry, I was able to create a little visual triangle with those on the page. And then I wanted to use that little scallop piece um, just to draw a little more attention to the title there It's at the top. So I just slipped it right under the word happy. And just trying to figure out some placement where I want things to go, kind of moving them around. Added some pop dots under some of the flowers for dimension, and then some of them I'm just adding straight to the layout um, for more of a flat effect. I like this pack because it has the shapes, it has some word phrases, it has some words like today, and it has a little um, phrase cut out also. So there's lots of things in there that you can use. These are jelly beans. I'm sorry, I can't talk today. These are jelly bean soup wood veneers, and um, there is also another pack of the cute little um, rectangle words. And so I wanted to mix both of those. So I started with this one first. Um, there's lots of little pieces in there, some hearts and flowers, um, little cups and mugs, and some phrases. So I just used a few of those. I liked the hello at the top of the page there with the title. So I'm kind of mixing my embellishments right now to spread them out so I won't have the same thing everywhere. Um, these are some of the exclusive puppy. I'm sorry, puppy. No, they're not puppy. They're puffy. <laughs> you can tell that I still have my cold. Um, they're puffy stickers for May. And um, these come in the embellishment kit. And so I wanted some of those around the layout. And of course, if there's a flare button, I have to use it. So I grabbed the little ampersand and put it there at the top of the page to just kind of create a cluster around the title area um, just because there was a lot going on and I love these hearts these are so cute um, they are also in the project life kit I thought about using the orange but that orange was a little too bright for the orange that I had on the paper so I switched um, to using the pink and the green and those worked perfectly to blend with the colors and then one of the black I liked the little black heart too and then mixing in also some of those echo park enamel dots just to have the heart shapes and then the little circles too. And you can tell I like to do my embellishments or my enamel dots in um, little embellishment clusters. <laughs> so I just created a couple of those. And then these are the little rectangle word phrases I was talking about. That first one I added said document, but I thought there was one in there that said documented and I couldn't find it at the time, but I do find it in a minute and I actually switched those out um, before the glue had time to dry. And this is a good tip if you're wondering how to store these when you open it and that little cardboard backing comes off and then all your wood veneers go everywhere. Just grab a regular sandwich Ziploc bag and you can put those in there. And then I put the Ziploc bag in my big um, 12 by, well, probably 13 by 13 Ziploc bag that our products come in. So I hope you enjoyed the video this week. Here's my, close -up, uh, my layout and some close-ups. And thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time.